Hey guys, so today I'm filming my monthly makeup basket for August. This is going to be the last month that I will be rocking my summer makeup products and I have saved some of the best for last because this is my birthday month. My birthday is on August 6th. I will be 23 so I'm very excited about that. So if you're interested I do have a video sharing with you guys my top five tips for creating and sustaining a successful makeup basket. I will have that link down below for you guys so you can check that out if you are interested and I'm just going to get started with the nail polish. So I have picked out four nail polishes to use for the month of August. One is new to me and the other three are holy grail summer polish favorites. The first one is new to me. It is what is on my nails today and this is Color Club's Wicker Park. This was opaque in two coats. It's a really pretty pinky purple shade. I really really love this. My nails are kind of short right now. I cut them all down to be the same length so they can grow out evenly. So this is is what I have on my nails right now. The next polish I have is from the Wet n Wild Wild Shine range in the color Chambray Showers. This was limited edition for summer 2014 but I'm obsessed with this color. It is the perfect cornflower blue. Then I have a, another Wet n Wild Wild Shine polish in Ferris Wheel Romance, a beautiful milky pinky peach shade. And this again was from the summer 2014 collection. And my last polish is Zoya's Wendy, which came out in last year's summer collection, but it is still available on their website. This is my perfect pink tone coral. So now moving on to brow products. First thing I have is the NYX Eyebrow Shaper Wax Pencil. I also have two brow pencils pencils that I'm going to be switching back and forth between this month. The first is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Sculptor in the shade Blonde and I have the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe. For brow powder I'm using the Lorac Take a Brow Brow Kit in the shade Blonde. To highlight under my brow I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and to set my brows in place I'm using the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Blonde. So now I'm moving on to complexion products and I seem to have two of everything. For primer I have the Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer to help combat my oil and I also have the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer to help fill in my pores and lines. For foundation I'm using this combination of the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus in the shade number 20 and the Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation in the shade Porcelain. I also have two concealers for my under eyes. I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Brightener. And for blemishes, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. To set my under eyes, I'm using this powder combination of the Wet n Wild Fergie Take on the Day Mattifying Powder, which is a dupe for the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder Pressed. And on top of that, to add some brightness, I have the MAC Shaping Powder in the shade Emphasize. And for face powder, I am using a combination of two powders. The first one is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade number 100 Translucent. And the other powder I'm using is the L'Oreal True Match in W1 Porcelain. So that is my very high maintenance complexion routine right now. I'm really in between colors and I'm trying to use products. So I'm having to combine foundations and combine powders to get my perfect match. So now moving on to cheek products. For bronzer, I'll be using the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer in the shade number 51 which is a pretty warm tone bronzer so I can only use this in the summertime. To contour I'll be using my Sleek Contour Kit in the shade Light. To highlight I'll be using Estee Lauder's Heat Wave. There are a ton of dupes of this. The best drugstore dupe is the Wet n Wild Shimmer Powder in Hollywood Boulevard. For blush, I have five this month. The first one is Max Melba which I'm wearing on my cheeks today which is a beautiful light peach shade. For blush, I have five. The first one is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. This is Max Melba, which is a beautiful peach shade. The next blush I have is also from MAC. This is the shade Fleur Power, and it is a beautiful pink coral. My next blush is MAC Ripe for Love, which was limited edition from our Temperature Rising Collection Summer 2013, and this is a deep burnt peach. My next blush is the Balm's Hot Mama, which is a pinky coral with an intense gold sheen. And my last blush is a new product of mine, and this is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Vivid Swirl Blush in the shade Guava. So now moving on to eyes. For primer, I have my Milani Eyeshadow Primer. And 
basically I have been wearing this look every single day because I'm trying to use up this product which is the Maybelline color tattoo in bad to the bronze I've been wearing this on my lid every single day then the colors that I put in the crease and for my transition would be from the urban decay naked palette I use naked as a transition shade and buck in my crease then to highlight my brow bone I use the wet and wild single in the shade brulee for eyeliner, I use the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in the shade Bourbon, and I set it in place with this matte brown eyeshadow called Bark from the brand CQ, which I don't believe is in business, but basically a deep, dark, neutral, leaning, cool tone brown. In my waterline, I'm using the Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner in In the Nude, and for mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I have six lip products for this month, and these are not really summer lip products, these are products that I'm going to be reviewing soon so I really wanted to test them out and they are new products to me so I'm dying to use them so first I have three of the ColourPop ultra matte liquid lipsticks I have the shade midi seesaw and solo which is what I'm wearing on my lips today I'm also going to have a review on the Maybelline color blur lip pencils I have the shade 45 I'm blushing and 50 I like to mauve it my last lip product is one of the 10 new shades in the Maybelline creamy matte line and this is the shade blushing pout so guys that was my monthly makeup basket for August I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what products you are going to be focusing on this month and if you've tried any of these products I would love to know your thoughts thank you guys so much for watching please rate comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon bye guys